What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. I'm gonna get right here to it today. There is one thing that you need to make sure you're doing every single time you train your legs. Every leg workout you do, you better be doing single leg training. I, I know some people say, well, Jeff, I've gotten advice that I should only do squats. Squats are the only thing I need to do. That's bad advice. Matter of fact, that's probably coming from somebody that's never trained an athlete in their entire life. And you might be saying right now, but, but Jeff, I'm not an athlete. I still just want to have great legs or the strongest legs possible. I'm going to tell you yet again, the thing you need to do every single time you train your legs is include single leg training. And here's why. When we look at something like a squat, we all realize that's the foundation of our program. Your leg training should be focused and founded on the heavy squat as a basic movement pattern. However, if that's all you do, I'm going to guarantee that you are building your foundation on a shaky foundation. Because what winds up happening is, inevitably, there are weaknesses throughout the entire kinetic chain from our feet all the way up through our back and bearing the weight of that, that, that load under the squat. That is likely going to betray you at some point in time during that squat. And it's not because you haven't strengthened the movement, you haven't gotten stronger on it, it's because you've likely just haven't attacked all the muscles that there are, even in just the hips alone, to be able to support that squat as you continue to add that heavy load. And I've talked about it here before uh, in many videos about the concept of building compensatory strength on top of your real strength. Single leg training is what you need to do to start revealing some of those weaknesses and actually just train your hips and muscles in ways that you cannot do with the squat alone. Matter of fact, if you want to train in a multi-planar way, your squat is a sagittal plane movement. You need to start including some movement that gets you moving in other planes. And, and we talk about, again, training athletes. Guys, athletes don't move in a single plane. They're not sagittal plane uh, creatures. They have to be able to move in the transverse plane. They have to be able to move side to side. And sticking to that point, if you want to be any type of skill player, let's go to the NFL. If you want to be a skill player and you don't have the ability to unilaterally explode, be able to push in this direction by pushing with strength off of that leg, unilaterally. Or go in the opposite direction, unilaterally, equally, with equal force. You're not going to be a very good athlete. Case in point, Antonio Brown trains in this gym using the very principles here that I've been preaching for years. Antonio Brown is the best wide receiver in the entire NFL, bar none. There might be a little bit of competition, but whoever would argue for his competition would certainly put him right there amongst them because they all know how explosive he is. Do you think Antonio Brown leaves this gym without training unilaterally by doing single leg training, whether it be lunging, whether it be Bulgarian split squats, whether it be explosive Bulgarian split squats like you see him doing here? No, he couldn't because it wouldn't make him a complete athlete. We realize that he has to do more. You can't get by with just squats alone. Are squats part of his foundational work? Of course they are. Like any athlete, it should be. And like for you, no matter what your goals are, athlete or not. But you need to include single leg training. And I'm preaching this to you guys. I've been saying this to you for years and years and years. And I know that there are some out there that believe it's not necessary. That's bad advice. Flat out bad advice. I'll even take it so far as to, when we do, let's say, a, a, a lunge here, to unilaterally load in a position where I'm trying to overload not just the legs, the quads, the hamstrings, I'm trying to overload the hips. I know that I can create instability laterally by loading like you see me doing here in a lunge with Antonio. And that means that the glute medius is gonna to have to fire a lot more to stabilize his entire body. And when we take that onto the field, how do you think you execute with the precision that he does on the sideline for a toe tap catch? They call him Tony Toe Tap for a reason, because he could literally plant his body on a, on a dime and be able to control his body and, and make incredible plays because he has strength, not just in his legs, but all the way up and down the kinetic chain. And the way you get that is by challenging yourself, not just with bilateral, single plane, sagittal plane training. You got to include some other movements here, guys, and single leg training is where it's at. So I preach to you guys once again. Make sure on every single leg workout that you do that you're including at least one of these movements and then build off of that and really try to build your strength in these moves over time. But the key is that you're at least including them at the very, at the very baseline here and then building up beyond that. Guys, if you're looking for programs that build this in because we train like athletes here. 
We have them all available over at athletics.com. You can get any of our programs, guys. We all we include single leg training in all of them, no matter what it is that you're training for. I feel it's that important. We all need to include it. Guys, all right, I hope you found this video helpful. In the meantime, if you, if you want me to cover anything else here, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below, and I'll do my best to do the things that you guys want me to cover. This channel's for you. I want to make sure that I'm bringing the experiences we have with our athletes like this straight to you guys so you can benefit from them as well. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.